Welcome back to Introduction to iOS Applications at SSFS. In this video, we're going to take a very quick look at operators in Swift, and the assumption is that you've seen a lot of this in a previous programming language. The first operator we're going to talk about today is the assignment operator, and it's one you've seen before. It's where you want to assign a value of something to a variable or constant. I'm starting with a relatively blank playground here. So you've seen something like this. Let greeting equal hello world. And again you see I've used the equal sign which is an operator and it's called the assignment operator because I'm going to assign the value of hello world to the variable greeting. Okay, so that's assignment. It's also possible to do a lot of very simple mathematical operations in Swift. Again similar to what you've seen in other languages before. So I might have a variable result which equals 5 times 3. And after I run it, I see that 15 is 5 times 3. I can do the same thing with uh, other operators too, like 12 minus 20, and I get negative 8. One operator to be careful of is division. So if I just do quotient equals 15 divided by 7, I should get two point something, so it doesn't go in quite evenly. When I run that, you can see it gives me the integer 2. And in Swift, as like in many other programming languages, division is integer division, so it always truncates the decimal. The easiest way around this is to make uh, both your values doubles. So let's go ahead and make this, I'll call it double quotient, and that equals 15.0 divided by 7.0, and when I run that, I get the actual value of 15 divided by 7. So again, I just made them de um, decimal numbers, and I got my correct value. Well, you can also do operations on variables. I don't have to do actually hard code these numbers in. I can do uh, game1 score equals 20. Game, whoops. Fair game2 score equals 30 and then I can say let total score equal game one score plus and you can see that as I'm starting to type it's uh, Xcode is offering me possibilities so I don't have to type the whole thing in I can just hit return when it comes up with the one I want and then if I just do a print total score I see it gives me 50 as the value, and I see 50 in the console down here as total score. So again, I'm doing operations on variables themselves. You can actually do operations on the same variable. So for example, if I have age equals 25, and I have a birthday, I can say age equals age plus 1, and now my age is 26. I've increased it by 1. This is actually kind of the a long way to write it so Swift has built-in shortcuts so I can do age plus equals one which is the same thing and so now I've added one more to it so it's 27 so this is a shorthand way of writing this and I can do this same uh, kind of operation with uh, the other operators as well so I can do age times equals five which will multiply age by five and I could do it with division, subtraction as well. One area that might be problematic is when you try to do operations with different data types. So for example, if I have let dollars equals five and let cents equals 0 0.5, if I try to add those together, Let's see what happens when I try to do that, when I try to run that. I get, it, I get the problem because I'm trying to add an int and a double and I cannot add two of the same type. So one of the things I can do is convert dollars, which is an int, to a double. And the way I do that is I just preface it with the word double and put it in parentheses. So what this does, this converts dollars 
to a double. So now I'm adding a double and a double. And if I run that, I get the, the correct value. Um, one last thing to note is that Swift does follow order of operations. So if you remember PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, uh, Swift will follow that. Again, I'm not going to demonstrate that here. You've probably seen that before. So that is a very quick look at operators and expressions in Swift. In the next video, we'll take a look at conditional statements and decisions. So that's if, else, if, and else statements, as well as the switch statement.